In this video, we're going to look at a few different methods of how to evaluate functions on our TI Inspire calculator. Okay, so in this question, we've got f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 5, and we're been asked to find f of 2. So that means evaluate the function at x equals 2. Find the y value when x is equal to 2. Now, the most obvious and straightforward way to do this is just substitute in 2 for x everywhere it is in the function. So we can do that directly on our calculator in Scratchpad. So I can just say instead of x squared, I'm now going to say 2 squared plus 3 times 2 minus 5. I hit enter and I get my answer, 5. So that's telling me that f of 2 is 5. Okay, so if this works, why do it any other way? Um, we can just throw in our number into the function and get our answer on the calculator. Easy. Well, there's two reasons why you might want to do it other ways. The first is that it's very easy to make a calculation mistake in putting things into the calculator. The more inputs you put into the calculator, the greater likelihood that you're going to make some sort of input error. Number two, what if we want to get multiple values of this function? I don't want to have to go and do the exact same thing all over again if I want f of 7 or input minus 5 in all the places I have 2 currently if I want to get f of minus 5. I'd like a quicker way to be able to get these values of the function that I want. So we're going to look at a couple of different ways that we can speed things up when we do want to get multiple values of the function and when we do want to try and avoid calculation errors as much as possible. So first one that we're going to look at, we're going to hit the scratch pad button again and go into the graphical display. Here, what we're going to do is we're going to hit menu. We are going to hit graph, option number three, and we're going to go for a function. We want to graph a function. So we get this f1 of x. f1 of x is basically just telling us the first function that we want to input. That one is a subscript. It's just identifying that this is the first function. So we just type in the algebra that we need. We want x squared, we want a plus 3x and we want a minus 5. Hit enter and up pops the graph of the function. Now at the moment, the graph isn't particularly conveniently displayed. Okay, we might want to recenter our display, but we're not too concerned about that for the moment. What we want to do now is we want to find the actual value that we're interested in, f of 2. So I hit menu again. I'm going to hit option number 5, which is trace. Option number 1, which is graph trace. And here we go up pops a point which is the y-intercept on the function. So it's at 0, minus 5. Now we're not interested in the y-intercept. We want f of 2. So we want the value of the function when x equals 2. So I just hit 2 on the calculator. I hit enter. And there's the point on the graph where x is 2. x is 2 and y is 5. It's the point 2, 5. What if I wanted, for example, the value of the function when x is minus 3? Just type in minus 3. Hit enter and I get minus 3, minus 5. So you can see I can choose any value that I want. If I want x equals 8, I hit enter. Up it pops on the graph. When x is 8, y is 83. So I can find values of the function very, very easily on my graphical display. Now there's lots of different ways to look at functions on the calculator. But the other one that I want to show you in this video is we can also evaluate functions directly in the calculator page on Scratchpad. So if we go there, what I can do is I can actually type in the name of my function. So previously on the calculator display, I called my function f of 1. So if I actually type that in, f1, that's telling me, the text is just snapped from italic to bold, it's telling me that the calculator recognizes that this function is defined in memory. So f1 is defined in memory, so now I can actually go get values of f1. So if I want f1 of 2, hit enter, it gives me the correct answer, it's 5. I can get any value that I like. So let's just look at another one. Imagine I wanted f1 of 6. I just hit enter and it tells me the exact value that the function has. When x is 6, the function is equal to 49 or y is equal to 49. Let's do one more. So in the question here, we're going to ask to find f of 5. So let's type in f1 of 5 and you can see the text just snapping from italic to bold that's telling me that the calculator recognizes this as a defined function if you haven't defined it in the in the graphical display page it won't snap like this and it won't evaluate anything okay f1 of 5 is 35 so that's telling us that f of 5 is equal to 35. now there are a lot of ways to evaluate functions on the calculator but hopefully those two methods that we've covered will help you navigate questions involving functions a lot easier 
and ensure that you can make correct calculations quickly and efficiently in order to get the answer, get your marks and move on.